Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today we're looking at the all new Viomi Vacuum Cleaner V3. Let's see what's new, let's see how it performs, if it's any good, and let's compare it with the latest Roborock, the T7. Let's go! In the box, we'll find an instruction manual, several mops, the mopping unit, and below that, we'll find the vacuum cleaner itself with two included side brushes. So yeah, it's got everything that you need, as you can see right here. The vacuum cleaner itself is 35 centimeters in diameter and little over 9 centimeters in height. The docking station is relatively small as well. The V3 has a much bigger battery with a 4,900 milliamp hour capacity that can be fully charged in about 5 hours, but I found that it's typically a lot faster. The bigger battery results in an improved vacuum time of 140 to 170 minutes. The motor has also improved to have 18,000 rotations per minute and an increased vacuum strength of 2600 PA. It is slightly more silent than its predecessor at around 76 dB and it can be set in four different levels of vacuum strength. The dust box is quite big, having a 550 milliliter capacity, just like the water tank. And it now comes with a mixed water tank with dust box, allowing you to vacuum and mop at the same time, which is very convenient. The V3 also comes with a whole bunch of onboard sensors, including an LDS sensor, floor detection sensors, collision sensors, infrared receiver sensors for navigation, returning to the dock, mapping the environment in the app, and to, well, not be falling off the stairs. It also has sensors to detect whether you have the dust box or water tanks installed. Water tank has been installed. If needed, you can obviously clean or replace the brush. And the side brush, those are very easy to attach as well. So for the last few weeks, I've been using the V3. It's really performed quite well. I really like how it can travel through my whole apartment now. It can reach the bedroom, my working room, the kitchen, and I can actually dock it under the sofa, which I personally really like as a base. So how does it do? You'll have to do a first run, which allows it to map out the environment in the app. It seems to first do all the edges and then fill in all the spaces in between in an S-curve. It did manage to vacuum very well, so I've tested it out with this bunch of rubbish, as you can see here. So in this example, I've set it to vacuum and mop at the same time, and you can see it did a very good job, and it took up everything except for the Cheetos, because those are a little bit too big. So I've crushed some cereals together with cat hair on this rug to do a second test. So here it did a very good job again, and you can see that the rug is completely clean, except for one tiny piece of the cereals. Other than that, it did great. As we've seen before, the V3 can also deal with two centimeter high thresholds and obstacles. This could be great if you have certain thresholds in your apartment. Unfortunately, the two that I have are actually three centimeters, so it cannot get over these. But when dealing with certain obstacles, like this chair right here, it did manage to deal with it quite well. Also, when dealing with something like these magazines, it managed to do well. The mop is very much improved, as it comes with three included mops. One regular mop, one divided mop with a dry part which results in a quicker drying floor and an antibacterial mop. The mop water level can be set in three levels for more or less water when mopping, depending on your floor type. The mop really seems to perform well and you can set it to use the standard S-curve or to have the vacuum go in a Y pattern. The Y pattern actually has a much more intense mopping route, which will be great for tiled floors, for example, and it seems to do a very good job when mopping. So, how does this V3 compare with the Roborock T7? Well, both of them are quite identical in size, 
except the dock of the Roborock is really huge, which I personally really prefer on the Viomi V3. The Roborock does have a slightly bigger battery, but it's very marginal. But the Viomi has a slightly stronger suction strength. It also has a bigger dust box and much bigger water tank than the Roborock. And other favorable features for the Viomi V3 are definitely the advanced Y-curve mopping, the antibacterial mop, and the combined water tank and dust box in one. The Roborock is a little bit more silent though, at 67 dB versus the 78 dB on the Viomi. The price of the Viomi is a bit more favorable as it is a bit cheaper, which does give it a little bit of a stronger hand here. In terms of actual vacuuming, both are really quite similar in terms of suction strength. Although I do gotta point out that in my test, the Viomi V3 actually outperformed the Roborock as that really couldn't handle the big amount of rubbish that I had here all that well. The Roborock is a bit better when it comes to the actual app and the mapping, but I have been told there might be a firmware update coming out for the Viomi V3 to improve on that. The Viomi is definitely stronger when it comes to mopping. The Y mopping pattern, the antibacterial mop, and the much larger water tank do make it, as Viomi markets it, the Mopping Pro. So how is it in the app? I've installed the vacuum robot using the Xiaomi Mi Home app, which you can install on the European servers as well as the China mainland server. In the app, there's also a bunch of new features. You can add tag rooms and spaces in the app to quickly and easily have it vacuum or mop just that specific room, which is great. You can also manually select a part of the map or a spot to have it clean just that area as well, which is great. It also allows you to save up to five different maps, which could be great if you have two floors or three floors and you want to take the vacuum cleaner up to another floor and later take it downstairs again. It should then automatically recognize the room again. Dragging up from the device page, you can set the vacuum strength and the amount of water that you want to use for mopping. From the settings menu, there's a bunch of new features as well. Here you can set if you want the vacuum cleaner to do a double-sided sweeping, which will first vacuum all the edges of your area, then do everything in between in an S pattern, and then do the sides again. You can also set secondary cleaning, which will basically have it run twice. You can also set that mopping style from S to Y, as we've just seen, and you can set up scheduled cleanups for when you want to automatically have the vacuum cleaner run. There's also some settings for the notification sound levels, and you can set up smart home automation rules. When creating these rules, you can have the vacuum cleaner start, stop, pause, or return to dock as in then this state. So that's all pretty flexible and you can use that for a lot of different smart home automation rules. So what do I think of the Viomi V3? The V3 has been given some pretty decent upgrades. Its battery, its suction strength, its mopping features, and some good to see app upgrades surely make the V3 an improvement over its predecessor. Generally, I feel that it's very capable. It vacuums perfectly. I love that you can add rooms and name them in the app. The mopping features are all very nice, seeing that it can both vacuum and mop at the same time. And compared with the T7, the Viomi is definitely not as silent, but as you can see right here, I guess it's silent enough. I personally would have loved to see it go over a little bit of higher obstacles, maybe even up to three centimeters. But that seems like quite a difficult feature as the vacuum will probably have to be a bit higher. I would love to see it constantly update the maps so that when you move stuff around, the vacuum will automatically update the map. But I've actually been told that they are working on a firmware update to facilitate this as I am using the beta version in my review right here. So it will probably improve on that. Other than that, I actually enjoyed using the Viomi V3 for the last few weeks, and I actually do think it is a very good vacuum robot. The Viomi V3 is being released in Europe and a bunch of other countries outside of Europe, where it will go for around 499 euros. It is a little bit more pricey than the V2, but it actually did improve on a lot, so I guess that is justified. So what do you guys think of the Viomi V3? Is this something that you want to be picking up as your next vacuum cleaner? Let me know down here in the comment section what you guys think. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a little like below the video to show me that you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, know that you probably should, because I'm doing a ton of videos about products from Xiaomi and Xiaomi ecosystem companies like Viomi right here on the Xiaomi Fi channel. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.